It's maths! It's maths! Let's rub the magic elbow patch and see what fun is coming up today. No more sad maths. It's bad maths time. Pay attention, it's Maths Mansion, the game show where you get to test your maths ability. Feel the tension in Maths Mansion. Let's see how good at learning maths these kids are gonna be. If they want out, then they must earn it. There's no leaving till they learn it. The only way of getting out is mathematically. <laughs> Yes, another lot of kids safely locked up in Maths Mansion. And none of them will get out until they have learnt their maths. Each week, two of the team will try to win maths cards. If they manage to collect enough by the end of ten weeks, then they will be let out of Maths Mansion. But remember, no leaving without learning. So let's get going. We keep getting interference from this terrible old programme. Stop watching. Cover up your eyes. Hello. Today, we're dealing with decimals. <laughs> now, three is the same as three point zero. <laughs> A zero after the decimal point doesn't make any difference, does it? But it might come in handy when you multiply the three by ten. Great big hen, great big hen, help me multiply by ten. Move the digit left one place, with an eggy zero in the space. Thirty! The eggy zero came in handy. Let's get another one standing by. Thirty point zero. Yes, move the digits left one place. With an eggy zero in the space. 300! <laughs> 300 point zero. Move the digits left one place. With an eggy zero in the space. There. We've turned three into 30. Then 300. And now 3,000. All by moving the digits left one space. Enough of that sad man and his even sadder eggs. We've got work to do. And the first two members of the team are... Robin Peters from London. Christian Cooper from Southend. OK, Robin Peters and Christian Cooper, get ready with your maths mouse. 1.8 times 10. Show me how it's done. Going to move the digits, one place to the left, starting at this end. Moving the one, then the eight to the other side of the decimal point. 18's the answer. Put in a zero to make it look neat. Right. Now multiply 1.8 by 100. Move the 1 to the left and the 8 past the decimal point. 18. Multiplied by 10 so far. Multiply by 10 again. Move the 1, the 8 and the zero. 180. And the zero to make it look right. Nicely done. Now let's see the maths monsters do that trick. Move the digits one place to the left Add a zero and you multiply by ten Move the digits one place to the left And you multiply the number by ten again Turn the tens into units and the units into tens And the tens into hundreds with that big zero Move the digits one place to the left When you multiply Left is the way to go Made numbers bigger by multiplying, so let's make them smaller by dividing. Now it's time to divide by ten. Won't you help me, great big hen? <laughs> yes, it's dividing time, and I've got decimal here to help me. We're dividing 240 by 100. So which way do we move the digits? Yes! To the right this time! Move the digits to the right. La 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 la. Move the digits to the right. Dooby 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 doo. Oh, there we are. That's divided by 10, which makes 24.0. And divided by 10 again. 
Here we go, moving the digits to the right. La 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 la. Move the digits to the right. Makes 2.400. 0, 0. Do we need those extra zeros? No, we don't. Just as well, really. Oof. Come this way. No, come this way. You won't believe this. You have won yourself one pound. How about that, madam? Look, let me put it on the board so you can believe it. There you are. You have won a whole pound. Are you happy? Huh? Hold, 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 hold. <laughs> oh, you should be very happy. It's just been multiplied by ten. You have won yourself. Move those digits to the left. Ten pounds! How about it? You should be jumping for joy, madam. <laughs> Jump for joy. Isn't that great? Oh, no! No! Disaster! It's just been divided by ten. Oh, shame. <laughs> Move them to the right. Just be put down to a pound again. You're not unhappy, though, are you? Oh, no. It's been divided by ten again. You're down to... What is it now? Oh, no. 10p. Oh, how about that? Because you've been such a good sport, they've decided to multiply it by a hundred. First one place to the left. That's one pound. And again. And now, madam, you have ten pounds. Is that going to change your life? What are you going to do with it, then? I would buy an elephant. A what? An elephant. An elephant? Yes, that's right. You're crackers. So, are you ready to multiply and divide? Yes. Good. Because if you're ready for the test, the test is ready for you. OK, then. You've got four blanks to fill in to make the calculations correct. Six possibilities to choose from. Go. 0 0.7 times 10 is... Seven. Seven goes in the top line. Seven something by ten equals zero point seven. Seven divided by ten. Six point four times something equals sixty-four. Six point four times ten. And something divided by ten equals six point four. Sixty-four. Correct. Now try these. Can you complete the calculations? 4 times 100, 400. 300 something by 1,000 equals 0 0.3. Divided by 1,000. 15 times something equals 1,500. Times 100. And something divided by 1,000 is 24. 24,000. You did it! Yes! And you did it fast. Which means you get the first maths card of the new series. The multiplier and its opposite friend, the divider. Take it. Can you handle questions on multiplication and division? Which is bigger? One millimetre multiplied by ten, then multiplied again by 100, or one kilometre divided by 1,000. Which is bigger? Work it out. Until next time, remember, no leaving without learning. Pay attention, it's Maths Mansion, the game show where you get to test your maths ability. Feel the tension in Maths Mansion. Let's see how good at learning maths these kids are gonna be. If they want out, then they must earn it. There's no leaving till they learn it. The only way of getting out is mathematically. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, come on, we need this eggy zero to multiply by ten. Oh, dear. We'll have to divide by ten, then. 